Unlocking English, the mystery of running out of time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a very common English phrase, to run out of time. This phrase pops up in various contexts, and understanding it can really help you in both everyday conversations and more formal situations. So, let's get started and explore what it truly means to run out of time. To run out of time is a phrase that paints a vivid picture in the English language. It refers to the situation where there's no more time left to complete a task or activity. Imagine you're in a race against the clock, and the clock wins, that's essentially what this phrase conveys. It's often used in scenarios where deadlines are involved or when there's a limited period available to accomplish something. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in real-life conversations. Work and school, I ran out of time on the test and couldn't answer the last question. Cooking, I wanted to bake a cake for the party, but I ran out of time and had to buy one instead. Sports and games. The team was about to score, but they ran out of time and the game ended. These examples show that running out of time can apply to a wide range of activities, from completing assignments to finishing a game. English is rich with phrases that convey similar meanings or are used in similar contexts. Here are a few related phrases. Against the clock, working or doing something as fast as possible to beat a deadline. Down to the wire, waiting until the last possible moment to do something. Time is up, the allocated or available time has ended. Understanding these phrases alongside, to run out of time, can help you grasp the nuances of time-related expressions in English. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, to run out of time. Remember, mastering a language involves understanding the little nuances and expressions that native speakers use. We hope this video has shed some light on this common phrase and helps you feel more confident in your English language journey. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, keep learning and never let yourself run out of curiosity.